What's up guys, and welcome back to Darkwood. Now, in the last episode, we left the old map because, well, we ended up finding the doctor who was hiding in a train wreck, and he had a key to the underground entrance, and of course, we had to help him out, even though he did beat us up and all in the beginning. We helped him out, he opened the door, and we went into a tunnel, and we made our way here. And now, you know, surviving the night was, um... Kinda intense. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was not expecting to find like a necromorph creature. Uh, I kind of, kind of made things a lot difficult because you know, it kind of hit a little hard. And you, know, I'm really hoping we don't have to find another one of those. But you, know, I get the feeling we are because uh, that's just my luck. All right, now this map is um, I think it's a pretty big map. I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was small because it was just like one, I guess, area. <laughs> It is one part of the map, but I think this it's almost like two put together. Now, huh, oh, the village is over here. Okay, so I do want to explore more down here because, um, well, I feel like I have to. And I do want to go over here. Cottage near the junkyard. Okay, so this is the cottage that, um, on the note it said that be careful because there could be someone here. But I do want to see the village over there. Now, before I head anywhere, I'm going to talk to the three because, um, I think I might hope oh, so I'm a bunch. I think I might need some some more ammo. No yeah, I think this does reset, right? If I quit and come back and reset, I think it does, because I'm pretty sure I bought the shotgun shell. I mean I will buy another one. And now uh I I can't do a thing. <laughs> I gotta save. Because I don't have much money. And I gotta make sure I have enough fuel and all that. Um Wait, where am I even storing stuff? Oh right here. Like okay, what do I got? Um, not much, I'm gonna be honest. Um, pistol has to reload, so I pretty much have two magazines left. Uh, which is not good at all. Huh. Alright. I also need... Actually, no, I don't, I don't need gas. I got some. Now, I was gonna make, um, some logs. Yeah, so let me put, um... Let me put some fuel in here. Actually, does, is this enough for... What is this? Okay. Oh, that's the one. Alright, so let me put some more gas in here, and then... I guess I'll, I'll cut one more one more log because well it's the only ones i got so give me that okay now is there any windows i want to repair this honestly this place right here is kind of safe everything's kind of boarded up besides um this is right here <laughs> i don't know if i actually want to board up this window or not because oh so this is the wall is looking oh okay <laughs> okay i thought i thought this wall got repaired somehow now let me see i don't if anything i kind of want to I want to rebuild um the fence. I kind of want. Oh, who the heck are you? <laughs> this guy was not here before. Examine. A body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been severed. Oh god. Search. Uh, severed head inside the helmet. Oh Jesus. Someone scratch. Someone scratched out the word a liar on the helmet. Oh wait, on the helmet's visor. Is that what it said? God. Okay. Uh, key to the underground. Key to tunnel number twenty-one. Oh, that's where we came from. So this is the, the doctor's key, right? Weird book. Uh, what am I looking at? It's supposed to be mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, interesting. Alright, well, I will take that. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well, not too sure what's gonna, what I'm supposed to do with that, but, you know, I guess I'll take it. Uh, actually, hold on. I was gonna look at it. So, how much... How much wood is it? I think it's like 10, right? Oh. Shit. Um. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, why not? Why not repair that? Oh, that's, okay, that's I didn't take. I thought it was another log. Alright, so repair this. So I wonder if this would like stop the monsters or whatever from coming through here. I feel like it would, right? I think it would. But I'm pretty sure they can stray if we can uh, repair it. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. Uh, well, I guess I'll put the rest in here because uh, I don't have enough to repair the other, um, the other fence, which I do want. So put this away, put that away, put this away. Uh, give me that, put the gas away. Hmm. I think that's all I can really do. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me that. Alright, I think we are good to go. Uh, I guess I do have to make bandage because I don't have any heals. I will make one. Alright, there we go. Alright, good to go. All right, the three. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. All right. You next time I see you, you guys better have some good items. 
All right, let's get going. Let's see what's going on over here. So the village is over here, huh? So is there gonna be people? What's that? What is this? A hole. Uh, okay. <laughs> give me, give me the step. Please the step on it. Yeah, I'm really hoping this village is not filled with crazy people like that. Like the last village I was at. Oh, it's a lot of mushrooms here though. Um, can I step around it? Okay, yeah, all right, nice. Okay, so is that another hole? I, I wonder what's making the holes because uh, I mean the necromal creature was, uh, what's coming from the ground? Was oh, this it? Oh, I guess it's a village. All right. Hello? Anyone over here? I think so. I think it's kind of quiet. Hmm. You know, I'm getting a bad feeling <laughs> about this village. Are you? I'm not afraid. I got guns. Nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a, there's a health bar. On what? Oh, I see it. It's an eye there. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, run, run! Ouch, ouch! Add the spider creature! Bro, it just threw it just threw a body. Oh oh my god. Bro, get the shotgun. Oh my god. Dude, it's like like they have the thing or something. What in the world? Bro, that was crazy. That is actually kinda of crazy. Like there's something you'll see in the thing or like in dead space. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. What was that? Did I step on something? What was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Not to worry about, uh, nothing to be worried about. I killed the monster. I think it's fine. Uh... Anyone in here? Bro, something must have scared them away from the huge tree. Crown towering over the village. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, alright. Is there something in the water? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I kind of want to look what's up there though before I go any further. What's up here? More water. I could jump through the window. And, uh, is the crows got scared of something over there. Oh god, it's kind of dark here without a light. You put the torch back out. There we go. What's in here? Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. All right, fine. Uh, anything here? I will take all this. Okay. Wait, that's a glow stick. I think it did, right? I hear that. What was that? <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. What was this? A match stick? Right, give me the flare. Got over there. <gasps> hey, no, my flare. <laughs> Take it. Give me another one. Throw that over there. Oh. Bro, I can't- I still can't see. Yeah, what a waste of players. Throw it all the way over there. Oh, come on. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't see. Oh, man. Okay, it's right there. Come after me. Come back out. Ooh, oh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> okay. Alright. Swamper. Bro, I reloaded. If I reload, I'm pretty sure I wasted the, the magazine, right? Oh, great. Now I only have one. Or is this my last one? I have one left. Oh, no. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Is there another one? The tree. Hey, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Dude, this is not fine. This place is... This place is very, very scary. Can I like the tractor? I can, but it's probably something to water. I don't want to get next to a tree. I'm gonna be honest, the trees, I feel like, would just kill me. 
Okay, well, I can kind of see now. Oh, pull out the pistol. Nothing here? What is this? The word thieves has been scratched out on the floor. Is that so? <laughs> uh, is there anywhere else I can go? I, I heard, I heard that. I don't know what that was. I think it's another creature monster, whatever it is. The Swamper. I don't see it though. I right, jump through. Pull the torch, please. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, what is this? This white painting. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh god. Corpse. Uh, what did you get? Battery? I'm sure. I don't really know what to do with the battery, but I'm pretty sure it goes to the um, flashlight. In there. Oh, doorway. Okay, well, at least there's uh, this fire over here. <laughs> I hear someone. What oh, dig? I need a shovel. Oh, man. And I left my shovel. You're kidding. Where am I going? I, I am so lost. I don't know what... Hey, uh, what's up, man? Who are you? Uh, you, I'm just, oh, cripple. <laughs> okay, you, I'm just passing by, checking out the village. Talk. Oh, God. Wait. Bloody hell, you're alive. The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. Uh-huh. Okay. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me, me, and he finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches my hand in silence, then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything. May only this. This chair. Bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Bro, look at this hand over there. What's he grabbing? Like a pouch? <laughs> I don't know. Ain't no effing tree that. It looks like a tree by those faces. I know I'm buggers. <laughs> Every single one of them. So close and so fake. Okay. They are not real. They are not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs in relief. It disgusts me. It effing disgusts me. This buggery. This effing scum. All the time I have to listen to his pathetic blabber complaining all the time. As if I were supposed to believe it's human. That it's me, Zoka. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands. Almost falling out of his chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You, lad. You've got your hands and legs. Strong arms. I beg you. Get rid of that filth from my village. Can't bear another day of that abomination. Wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. F and hell. I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I've had a long time to think about it for F's sake. His eyes widen and his pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. JSEC's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large. So you can't reach it from the top. You've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The blood thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them. Pull them. Drag them. Twist the F out of them. You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for a stone, which he uses to prop himself against the, the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Show him, bro. He can't see. <laughs> um. Oh, a gossip. Okay. Years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there. Where that damn tree grows. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. They went into the deep dark woods and never came back. Some of them would say they are going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world. But home for me has always been here. Then that monstrous morning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place. Maybe they died at the swamp just like us. Huh. Um, I guess <laughs> try showing a photo of the world. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness of what it is. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so he uses the, uh, the, the glasses. Glasses, okay. It used to be different here. First, the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. Man, we keep going? Alright. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes... The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. Hey, you, you hear footsteps too? Me too. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees. They come back. They pass me and fall silent. They are like a nightmare. A bloody nightmare. Keep going, alright. If you come across some wheels, two little wheels so that I could fix me chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. What are you going on about? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The war took me legs. Then those wankers burned... <laughs> hey, then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. So they said... And my Zaka, the disease took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair and this land. Okay. Um... I got some... I got one wheel, I think. But that's pretty much it. What's in here? Fish. Ah, uh, sure. I'll take it, bitch. <laughs> I mean, uh, if anything, he probably needs it more than me, but yeah, I'll still take it. I think here. Uh, well, I hear a red chopper. And the tree? You're going the opposite way. Bro, I can't destroy the tree right now. <laughs> oh, man. I seriously gotta have to destroy the tree right now? I can't. I'll grab the mushroom later in case there's something else here. I'm guessing that's what he's talking about. I start, I'm starting to hear the, the crying and all that. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So, uh... How do I even start destroying this thing? Oh, examine. Oh my god, this is the tree. What the heck is this? The tree gigantic. It bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They are also moving as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Between the bugs, I catch a, man, a man's gaze. It's fixed on me, his body, similarly to the other beings. Seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. God. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon. Above the roofs of the destroyed village, the mad lips are moving. But the ghastly murmur of the other voices drown out his words. I'm guessing there's probably something up there I can use, right? Pick the tree, hoping that the voice will go silent, try to come to the tree. Uh, look at the lips of the person talking to me. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read it such properly. I think one of the words is radio. Climb to the tree. Uh, something tells me I probably should, <laughs> I probably should touch this tree. Take the tree, hoping the voice will go silent. I don't want to touch this. This thing will probably take me in, and I'll probably die. Radio. I'm gonna do something radio. Examine. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, this this new. Okay. You took everything from us. The shots come from an old man, only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it. Thieves! My dogs, his are your faces. Yeah. Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats. We were hungry. We were hungry. Another figure hiding in space under an enormous root lets out a chilling shriek. Why? And be quiet, leave us in peace, shut up! He is interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it. High above at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs grow into trunks are trying to buy each other's faces off. Can we see that? I don't know which one's supposed to be. The very top. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Examine. I noticed a smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. 
Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums a melody, the lullaby drowns in the overwhelmingly noise surrounding the tree. Hmm. Okay, so, a radio. There's a radio over here? So, on top of the house, is he talking about this house? Or are you talking about the house I, I was in? Because the house I'm in has a radio. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if I could just throw Molotov at it. <laughs> I feel like a Molotov should be able to do something. So he says this is the wrong way. Or well, I'm going away from it. But I don't think I can try it right now. Let's see. I can I can check up here. I don't think I was up here. Um. There's nothing here though either. Okay. Huh. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's a mushroom. Um, I mean, I guess I can take the mushroom now. I want to see if there's anything else here, though. This is a door. So, you, I will, I will open this. What's going on? What is this? Wardrobe search. Uh, what is this? Uh, six potatoes. Okay. Alright. Oh, just stack. Alright, thank you. I, oh, I can take it, but... What is this? Double plate. No room. I need a shovel, though. I have to make another shovel. Oh, this basement. Actually leading... Actually leading to the basement is blocked from the other side. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Interesting. What's in here? Nothing. Uh, well, I have to take the shovel blade. Because, uh, well, I need it to... I dropped the mask. So, give me that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me close it. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I can't enter, right? Since it's blocked off? Yeah. Examine. No, my torch. Huh. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna head back to the house and... I guess? Do I have to think of a way to destroy that? If anything, I probably gotta dig out the... Um, I think that was up there. Which I cannot do because I don't have... I didn't bring a, um... A stick. Or the staff, whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, what is this? Hey, hold on, hold on. There's a path here. Oh. What the? Is that the doctor? Doctor, is that you? Uh, examine shrine. The figure of a shrine bears a sign of teeth. It's partially eaten. Okay, someone try eating this thing? Um. What's up, man? It is doctor. Doctor, what are you doing here? You again. What do you want from me? What to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? The doctor snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. Okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. I can hear her. Just as if she was standing beside me, my little. With shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette butt between his yellow teeth. I'm sure someone's waiting for you too. He spits out the rest of the tobacco. Uh, so I am. Uh, you know the road. Why are you showing me this? You better tell me how to get it. How to get there. Oh, okay. Oh, I can trade one. What do you got? Well, at least everything's kind of... <laughs> kind of cheap. I mean, I could take the embryo, but... Like, is it worth it? I don't know. I realized something. It came to me when we were walking through the tunnels. You're like a disease. You and your kind. What are you talking about? The doctor takes a step back as if he was afraid of me. At the same time, a sense of smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here when the force was born. You are a splinter, a foreign body, a vagabond. And them, the forest and everything else here, these are the antibiotics. Even the moron from the village, raising white blood cells in an infected bloodstream, and that's the reason you hide from us. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and this theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? Uh, I guess. Well, I just noticed. Wait, what the? What's up with him? Like, why? What did he cover himself with? Like, he put marks on himself, right? What the? What's going on? That's it. Some of the flooded areas hide underwater passages. Recently, I fell into this underwater den in the northwest edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a <laughs> okay, diver. I've seen a similar one in the northeastern edge of the swamp. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm guessing I'm going to have to go there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the way to go under the tree to probably destroy it. The presence broke through the wall of trees. I could not believe my eyes. I tried to do it many times. I couldn't manage to cut the trees fast enough. It was as if the woods were healing the scars. The mother efforts were growing back right in front of my eyes. I was afraid I would get stuck between the trunks. 
Losing the cell made their blood run cold, and they skipped, fearing starvation. The duck smiles as he puffs a cigarette out of the frying pan and into the fire. Wait a minute, so the villagers over there escaped the forest? Wait, so if I went down and looked, would I be able to escape too? <laughs> they have a camp in the old quarry in the southern edge of the swamp. Oh, okay, so the villagers are here now? I just come here to treat people. I pulled out kids, milk teeth, delivered babies, and then I came a disease I've never heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut us off from the outside world. First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago, then the trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields are flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. So much work for nothing. All right. Doctor, uh, I guess I'll leave you to it. Uh, what's it back? And it's alcohol. I break. <laughs> um. Man. Okay. I gotta go back to the, the, the house. I gotta use the, some of this army and store some things away. Alright, well, you know, luckily that's a, a pretty close run. So I didn't really have to go too far. Alright, well, um. Hold on, let me go to the oven. We got the ovens all the way over here. And you could have been a little closer. Okay, so. Cook this. Cook that. Oh, I'm about to level up. Is anything gonna happen? I feel, I feel like it's gonna happen, right? What is it? Oh, 960 as well. Oh. Hmm. I will deal double damage in melee when close to death. My vitality will increase. Once a day, I'll be able to become invisible to enemies if I stay still. Healing, healing items will be less effective. My accuracy will decrease. Uh, well, mine. <laughs> well, that sucks. Both of these suck. My accuracy will decrease. I mean, I'd rather take that one than the healing items, right? No, um, I want this one. Healing items will be less effective. Uh, I probably shouldn't get that one. That one's probably bad. My accuracy will decrease. So, like, will it just be like, um... Wait, when I aim down sights, will it just be wider instead of, like, the narrow? Or how narrow it can get? I think it would just be wider, right? I think it should be fine, though. I mean, usually... I mean, the the monster, whatever I'm shooting at, takes up the whole space. So, uh, let me get this. All right, I think we're good like that. Oh, am I gonna get taken to a different place? I think I am. But right, where am I going now? What's happening? I heard a voice. I heard breathing, not a voice. What the? Okay. What the? Am I? Am I in a mansion? Wait, can I go up? No, I cannot. What's over here? Darkness. Well, I saw that. What was that? <laughs> okay, it was nothing. Oh, I'm not going over there. <laughs> okay, let me, let me go down here. Alright, what's going on down here, huh? Oh no, is it gonna be darkness again? Oh, it's light. Two doors. Um. Hmm. Let me go. I see that. So I'm gonna go left. Lock. Don't play with lockpick. Do I have lockpick on me? I don't think I do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go in here. Oh, look at this. Okay, so yeah, we we are in like a, an apartment or something. Whoa. Six. Alright. <laughs> In general, I'm not a fan of such measures while making art, but one little bottle of wine to get the creative juice flowing certainly can't harm us. Chris Gor is like I feel like I just completely butchered his name, but sorry. Man, look at this one. I feel like these are people who work in the game, right? Like I feel like it has to be. Who is this? Scribbles. Madman scribbling. Oh, it's the violin guy. So I wonder if this is like, um, like the ideas they had for the game. So they like wrote it down or like it's drew it down and then put it in the game. I feel like that's what's going on here, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think so though. Yeah, this is what I'm, I'm guessing the studio, they made a game. These drawings are terrible, just like mine. Hmm. Interesting. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we, well, before I look at the computer, let me go up here. 
Examine. Nothing here. Examine. Darkwood. Thank you by Acid Wizard. Oh, these are these are the credits, right? These have to be, these are the people that worked on the game, pretty sure. Has to be. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I put this in. Uh, I guess. Anyway, it it's not even flashback. I don't even know what this is. Man, a lot of people working this game. All right, all right. I prefer not to sit on it. There are some white stains on the spread. What? Uh, strange. Oh, some strange contraption. Examine. Phone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so these are the people that are working on the game. All right, cool, cool. So I'm guessing they went to the woods just to see how like scary you can get a knife or something, right? Just to check it out. Oh my God! Look at that Santa Claus. <laughs> how many pictures are in here? <gasps> there's a the pig. Oh, here's the last one. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, what about this one? Hmm. I have no idea what tag this is. Well, I guess it's something. So this might be some kind of pick oven, a flat black top with circles drawn <laughs> or drawn on it with a what a peculiar shape or dream. I think it's filled with dirty dishes. Okay. Well, um, I guess now I'll look at the computer. Let's see what's on here. Diamond. Yeah, what a lovely family. <laughs> All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm guessing that is, uh, everything here, right? Is that something? No. Hmm. What about this? Anything in here? Alright. Can't see. <laughs> Lamp, which one? Mask? Pick up. It's the Santa Claus mask. Oh my god. <laughs> is that I wonder if that's everything. Um, I don't... I don't want to miss anything, but, I mean... That was a noise. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. What? Santa, are you making that noise? What is that? Hmm, well, I can't do anything with it. Alright, well, I think that's everything. So, I'm gonna head out. Does this door open? No. Alright, well, let me go back up. Oh, light. Where am I going? Oh man, well, you know, at least I didn't die this time. What's up, radio? Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to smash it. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll use the thing. 16,000 for the next one. I'll use the fish. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and take the. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'll put the rest in, uh, in a crafting table or a workbench. Uh, I feel like there's not really too much time I can. Oh, too much time to really go out and explore. I mean, I guess I'll uh, explore like what's around here really quick, but yeah, I don't think there's gonna be much I can really do. I mean, is there any more logs? I kind of do want to get more logs because um, oh, what that? Examine. Okay. Uh, disarm. Oh, I don't step on that. Okay. Oh, it sounds like a dog. Oh, there's a building here. Come on, dog, you over here? I heard that. Uh, okay, that's a that's the poisonous mushroom guy. There's the dog. Whoa, 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 oh, shamed up. No, it's not. The chain's broken. Oh, swing, swing. Oh, God. Okay. It's open. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't have a lock team. It's been in forever since I had a lock pick. What's in here? Metal pipe. Yes. And another fabric. All right, cool. No. Oh, I almost stepped on that. Okay. Anything else here? Not getting next to that at all. Oh, what is this? I see barrels. Ruin. Okay. What's in here? Uh, well, I don't have a torch. Heavy smell of gasoline here. Okay, so I probably... <laughs> Let me see out here. <laughs> so does the regular light do anything with this? No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a torch. Okay. Yeah, I should probably bring, uh, bring these with me, huh? <laughs> Alright, well I could use a Molotov But I really don't want to waste it on this Hmm I could I could move it over there and shoot it 
I feel like that'd be a waste of world. I can just make another work and just get rid of it that way. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll I'll head home. Unless there's not there's logs down here, but uh, I don't think there are. I do want to put up the other side of the fence and I guess stay out there. Oh, this is right here. I'm pretty sure it's one I looked at. Yeah, it is. Oh man. This these trees can come to life. Is there any more logs down here? I really hope there is. I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. Ah, oh, you I think it's time to turn on the generator and I guess now I try surviving and I man, I really want to stay out here. I feel like out here would be kinda of safe. Like just barricade that. Bring, uh, and then repair the fence and you'll be, it'll be pretty nice up here. Okay, now, um, this is gonna get moved. I am not leaving it in this one room. Alright, there we go. I think I'm ready to survive the night. I put more gas in. Um, all these windows are barricaded. Now, I do wish I had a trap there. Uh, I feel like it'll be pretty nice, but, uh, you, I don't really have one right now. So, I'll just multiply right there just in case. Alright. I'm ready. Got uh, my gun's ready. Got my shotgun. Got my Molotov. I got the bandage. I think we're good to go. Alright, well, you know, so far there hasn't been much going on. Just these bugs appeared. I killed the one here, but yeah, it looks like there's gonna be one over there, and I'm not going over there. What was that? No, there's no one here. Oh, no, there is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Why do you gotta put it right there? Ah, well, that sucks. Okay, well, now I, I definitely gotta need a torch because the torch is only. Well, I guess not a torch, but you, you need fire to get rid of these, um, I guess weird slime things they put on the ground. Which kind of sucks because uh, I don't have any rags and I don't really want to buy some, but new rags are they kind of cheap, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, now nah, I'm just worried about something, something even worse coming over here, which I think something bad is going to happen. What is that? I, I hear something. What is that? Uh, wait, what? I don't even know what they're hitting. Down there. Hey! Hey, who's down there? I wish I could see. If anything, it might be like a savage man. <laughs> well, at least I hope it's a savage man. Oh man, you really just have to break. Ah, it's a spider creature! Okay, I didn't throw a body, so it shouldn't. It shouldn't do anything. Oh god. I mean, if the next thing is gonna be like this, this is gonna be pretty easy. You know, there's really nothing to worry about. What's that? Oh, that thing spread so much. Oh my gosh, that. Uh, you, I need a flame through it. Now, I'm pretty sure the. Give me this. I'm pretty sure the the guy the old man was talking about. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that had uh, the flamethrower. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> that scared me. No, no, please. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my ammo on you. It's about to turn morning. <laughs> about to turn morning. All right, I'm just gonna chill out here. Come on, seven seconds. Four seconds. All right, there, easy. Day twenty-seven. Oh man. Oh, they broke the door. Oh, you're kidding me. Hey, what's up, bro? What you got, huh? I uh, don't know. Trade. Okay, you. I got not bad. Not bad. Okay, so give me this. Wow, oh, I'm gonna need another one. Dang it. That sucks. Alright, accept. Um, I do need a rag, so give me that. Um, I think that should be it. That should be fine like this. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, right, let me go to the top generator, though. How much is that? How much is that spread? Oh, God, that is so much. You're kidding me. Alright, well, let me get rid of all this. Oh, man, one, one torch might not be enough. <laughs> this is not good. I'm really hoping winter is enough. But there's so much. Come on. Right, come on, old weird slime goo thing. Go away. Oh gosh. Okay, huh? I gotta be careful where I swing here because <laughs> that is a explosive barrel. Oh god. Ooh, that's close. No, my torch. Oh, dang it. Pick that up. It's not gonna be there. Ah, uh, well, now I don't have another torch. Dang it. Well, that sucks. I gotta... I gotta find another rag. Because uh, I'm out of rags. That's the reason why I can't make another one. Why? Oh, I can't. Okay, wait. What? Oh, I need one. What did I run out? Oh, the alcohol. That's what it was. Oh, did I seriously want to use gas? Not really. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might have to. 
all right guys well um you know this one is definitely gonna be a lot shorter than the other one usually i try to get two nights in one video and all that that way can you make some progress but i think i'm gonna have to end this one here so hopefully you guys still enjoy this part of darkwood and i'll see you guys in the next one